Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another figure review. Not looking at Star Wars today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to look at Necker's The Last Ronin from the one of my favourite stories I've read in recent years. Um, the Last Ronin, absolutely amazing turtle story. Um, you know, set sometime in the future. I can't remember exactly how long it is. Um, but it's basically the last surviving turtle. Um, a really good story. I definitely recommend it. I do have the book here to show you. Um, yeah, it's su just such, a, such an amazing story. I really loved it. I'm looking forward to picking up the follow-up, um, which has just been released probably within the last month or two, I think. Um, so I'm looking forward to picking up that, that book as well and getting in, reading about the, the next generation, basically. I think that'll be really, really cool. So... Yeah, I don't have the box, but we've got the figure, got the accessories. Um, I've, I've made a few little tweaks to it, um, just to improve it for, for my personal collection. So I will sort of explain what I've done there. Um, but without further ado, let's get behind the camera and take a good look at um, The Last Ronin. Alright, here is the figure. We're back behind the camera. I'm really excited to go through this one. There's a lot of a lot of accessories and stuff going on. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to go through it. So, what I do have is I keeping keeping this sort of on display with the book and the figure together. I just got a little plastic container that I keep all the accessories in, um, just to keep them out of the way. But he does come with some pairs of hands, some different weapons, um, yeah, just extra stuff. <laughs> you know, he is carrying the weapons of his brothers as well, as well as some extras. So we've got this one here, um, I can't remember what this is called, but it comes on a string, and I suppose you could sort of wrap it up and, and hang it off of one of his belt pouches or something like that, but, you know, it's just, a, it's just another, another accessory, I don't, didn't want to overload him, just sort of keep, keep him nice and simple, so that's a tall one, um, he does come with four little, Shuriken, which are actually quite sharp. <laughs> they, they will, if you catch one of them, catch one of them the wrong way, that'll that'll that will break skin. I reckon. I'm not going to do it, but they are nice and sharp. So there's four of those. It does come with this little little grenade. It kind of resembles a bit of a turtle shell, so that's cool. Again, such a small little, small little ornate object, and there's nowhere to really store it on the figure unless you're having him hold it in one of his hands, which you know is it's a bit bit tricky. Just going to move him out of the way so the camera can focus does come with an interchangeable head, so we have this one here, a little bit more of a scowling one. It's got the black bandana. You do find out at the end of the first issue um, of the story who the turtle is um, and what he's been through, and that's sort of an ongoing part of the story as to how he's dealt with, you know, losing the brothers. But you get these sort of alternate ties there, so you get the, the sort of the back knot on the back of the head. And you can do this with either of the heads too. And then this one here, which is sort of a little bit shorter, but sort of swinging around, it can sort of rest on the over the shoulder. So really nicely detailed, nicely painted. Playmates did a version of The Last Ronin 2, a little bit more true to the... Uh, it was sort of 90s animated style, which was really cool. Um, and then they did sort of a black and white art one. I think NECA have also done one in black and white. Um, they've also done an unarmored Last Ronin as well. So it's really cool. Let's put those away. So in terms of the hands, it comes with a set of fists. Which again, he's got sort of the, the pads on the hand. And nicely detailed, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. 
That's what I love about this figure all over. It's all very nicely done by Necker. He does have two, two weapon gripping hands like these. One of them I do have on the figure at the moment. So that's nice. And then sort of one sort of open hand there, which is cool too. And like I said, I've got the uh, the opposing hand on the figure at the moment. So. so let's take a look at the other accessories that I have now on the figure. I have been holding this sort of, what do you call them, a tonfa or a baton. Which is nicely, nicely detailed, nicely painted as well. Bit of like sort of dry brushing with some silver over black. Looks good. This looks worn and and used. It's really nice. It does have one of Michelangelo's nunchucks with the actual nice proper chain, which is really good. I I love it when they do that. Again, really nice. And there are alternate spots where you can put these on the figure. Um, you can sort of see on the on the front of the book there. You sort of got them all sort of strapped in different different areas of his belt. Um, so I've kind of just put them where I feel like they look good. Um, going around the back, we have Donnie's bow staff. is cool again that sort of will sit through there nicely that's just where I have it um, there is another spot up there which is a little bit tight I couldn't get it in there um, and this whole ring part here where the uh, where the sheath for the sword sort of is this is sort of loose so held on by string um, I did sort of glue that to the back um, just just so it didn't wriggle around as much it's just uh, you know, one of the small little mods I did to it. I don't think I did too much else, to be honest. It was mainly just getting that that sort of loop ring to sit on the back there properly. Again, we've got Leonardo's sword, and one of his swords, and sheath. It's again, nicely detailed. Really good. It's nice and snug in there as well, and that one will sort of poke through the uh, through that part of the weave. And then we've got one of Raf's size. And that's, yeah, nice sturdy plastic. That's probably just as sharp. If you wanted to really prick yourself, you could. So that sort of holds nicely in there. So now we can have a really good look at the, the details of the figure. So as this hood will come off, as you can sort of see, there is a little peg in the back, which you know, is the same as the parts here. So you can have him without the hood on, but you can put the, uh, put the sort of the tie of the bandana in the back there. But I, I don't know, I really like the, the hooded look. So we'll put that back on. He does have these goggles. <laughs> if I pick them up off the floor. So these I did have to sort of re-glue. You can sort of see. They were just sort of strapped through. And sort of, I don't know how they did it, but... Yeah, I had to, did have to fix them up a little bit. I think you will wear them over the over the eyes if you can get them to sit right. Sort of sit behind the head there. But I don't know, I kind of just like the look of them sort of sitting around the neck. And then putting the head back on there. There we go. And just taking a look down at the rest of his outfit, he obviously got the sort of the big shoulder padding. Again, the sculpt and the detail of the paintwork, really, really nice. I love the sort of, I love the sort of the black line work. It's very subtle. You can sort of see some of it there. 
um, and then throughout the sort of the, the creases in the in the shirt, you can sort of see a few black lines there. That just gives it a little bit more of that sort of comic book feel, I think. Which I really like. Around to the arms again, sort of just really nicely painted, the sort of wear and tear in the shading. And then the sort of arm, the sh arm gauntlets there, got scratches and nicks and dents. It's fantastic. Again, we've got some of the black lines at the creases of the knuckles. Sort of line where there's creases on the... On the hand guard there, the hand armour. And you're around the back. And the sort of the pouches there all have sort of weathering on them. Sort of nice, yeah, just really good paint paintwork on this one. This is why I like this figure so much. Just, I probably I did probably didn't put him down for the first probably three or four weeks. I had him I was just constantly sitting at my desk. I could see him all the time. I like the mismatched knee knee pads there. I think that looks good. Sort of the shin shin guards. There you go, the, sort of the samurai thongs, sandals. Even the detail of the feet there. This is just a stand from another figure. This one unfortunately doesn't come with a stand, but this is a necker stand, so I was able to just fit him on there very nicely. So even the detail on the bottom of the feet. You know, it's painted. <laughs> it's good. It's really, really nice. And I kind of like the way they add a, like a little bit of a, a seam of sh sort of shadow around the base of the foot. And kind of so it sort of adds a little bit more depth, and a little bit of shade around the sort of the sandal straps as well. So it gives a little bit of a little bit of shadow, a little bit of extra depth. But yeah, fantastic! Just really, really love this figure a lot. I'm hoping to get some of the others. That they've done from the last Ronin. I think the uh, Raphael from the story has just come out as well. I'm sure the rest will come out. I think they've also done the sort of the robot Foot Clan and Shredder's granddaughter, who currently runs the Foot Clan at this time, at the time of this story. Articulation's pretty solid throughout. It's just a, you know, he's a big sort of chunky figure, so he does have that sort of ball joint in the head, which you know, if I took the goggles off, you get a little bit more movement out of it, but it's still fine. You get a big hinge there in the shoulder, you get a double joint there in the elbows, which you know it's limited a little bit with the uh, with the sort of arm guard there, but it's fine. You know, you get what you need out of that. Same on that hand or arm. Uh, each of the hands has, you know, a swivel there and then an up and in and out hinge. He's got a sort of an upper a torso there, sort of swivel, a little bit of a little bit of movement. Wish that one stopped falling through. <laughs> but that's all right. You sort of got the nice chunky. Chunky inner thigh, ball and socket joints, and then the sort of swivel at the top of the pants. Looks good. Double joints in the knees. So you get a nice get a nice bend. If you've got some cool stands or something, you can get this guy. Sort of in a really cool sort of action pose, you can definitely do that. And neck has got some really great flight stands. And then yeah, ball hinge in the ankles. And yeah, sort of the rocker joint in the foot. So he's, I think he's pretty much as articulated as you need him to be. But, you know, even just for a display piece, I, I can't recommend this guy enough. You know, if you've read the story, if you haven't read the story, please check it out. If you're a, if you're a Turtle fan like I am, you know, probably not to the degree of others these days, but, you know, I still always have great deal of nostalgia for the Ninja Turtles. That was my childhood for, for the longest time. 
and have really tried to keep up with it over the years. There's been a few, a few comic stories and stuff like that. All the toys, the 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 mutant movie, mutant mayhem movie from 2023 was really good. It's still a fun franchise to keep an eye on. And yeah, something about this story just just sort of drew me in, and I loved every every bit of it. So there we have the last Ronan by Necker. I don't get a lot of Necker figures these days. They just it can be on the pricey side, but you know this one wasn't cheap. It was a bit pricey, but. You know, when they're when they're as good as they are, I don't mind paying the price. So, love to hear your thoughts. Please drop a comment down below. Just little things like that chain. It's just so good, so good. All right, folks. I'm glad I could share this one. It's been on my list for a long time. Finally, getting around to doing it. I appreciate you tuning in, checking it out, and uh, yeah, be back with some Star Wars stuff next week. Until then, keep collecting, and we'll see you on the next video.